ever wonder how these huge oil rigs are built in the middle of an ocean? And how is it even possible that a huge colossal structure like an oil rig is not only built in the middle of an ocean but also survives harsh weather conditions and sea storms without colliding? In today's video, we will dive into the incredible world of offshore oil rig construction and will uncover the marvels of engineering and technological advancements behind it. So keep watching our channel, The Curious Corner. Oil rigs are basically large structures that extract and possess natural gas and petroleum beneath the seabed. When it comes to their construction, there are various misconceptions in people. Many people believe that huge walls are built in the middle of an ocean surrounding the place where the oil rig will be constructed and then the seawater is flushed out so the workers can start the construction. But it is technically impossible because constructing a huge structure like an oil rig would be a time-consuming task. Constructing facilities in the middle of an ocean would make transportation of personal, equipment and supplies more challenging and expensive. Therefore, it would almost take a decade to finish construction and also in case of adverse weather conditions, it could lead to a collapse and loss of lives. Therefore, constructing in the middle of an ocean is not ideal. But how it's done then? The construction of an offshore oil rig is a complex process that involves several stages and those stages depends on which type of oil rig is getting constructed. It can be either fixed platform, floating platform or subsea production system. In all of the types mentioned, the basic stages are similar. The oil rigs are constructed at port cities where ships load and discharge containers. On an average, it takes 3 to 4 years to construct an oil rig. Detailed engineering and design work is carried out to create plans for the offshore platform. This includes structural design, safety features and environmental considerations. Each and every components of the offshore platform are fabricated on shore in specialized facilities. These components may include the deck, substructure, topside facilities and drilling equipment. Materials used in the production are often corrosion resistant to withstand the harsh marine environment. Once the components are fabricated, they are transported to the construction site. This may involve using heavy lift vessels or barges, depending on the size of the component. It is impossible to use a helicopter for the transportation due to the size and weight of the components and also the complexity of lifting and transporting such massive objects through the air increase the potential for accidents and mishappenings, therefore, towing with the help of a barge is ideal. Once the transportation is finished to the designated place in the ocean, the installation begins. For fixed platform oil rig, the jacket, which is a type of a pillar for the oil rig is placed first to provide support and then the installation begins in it. For floating platform oil rig, the holes are ballasted to float and then are towed to the site. Once the platforms are installed, the installation of topside facilities begin, such as the living quarters, drilling equipment and processing facilities, because the installation can take 3 to 4 days so the survival of the workers matters the most. 
Once the top side and substructure are in place, connected and the entire structure is integrated, this involves welding, bolting and securing the components to ensure structural integrity, the completed platform undergoes commissioning. In commissioning, all systems are tested and safety measures are verified to ensure that the platform is ready for production. After successful commissioning, drilling operations and gas or oil production can commence and the oil rig is ready to serve its purpose. The construction of an offshore oil rig requires collaboration among various engineering disciplines, construction crews and project management teams to ensure safety, environmental compliance and the successful operation of the platform. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel, The Curious Corner.